Senna. Pals. I've been waiting for this moment with fervent anticipation. I'm very excited, and so can you. What's going on, everybody? I am Jabby Kawei, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We are watching episode one of Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender. I have been going back through the animated show um, halfway through now. Probably should have taken the time to finish the whole thing again, but I, I've been falling in love with it all over again, and it's like this is exactly why it's my favorite show. It's the best, <laughs> so um, I, I love it so much. And obviously, there's high expectation leading into this. I'm gonna try my best to set that expectation over there and just take this for what it is and appreciate it for what it is. I've heard, you know, through the Instagrams and whatever, that it's actually quite good. So oh, um, I'm looking forward promising. to it. That's yeah. promising. That's promising. Yeah. So if you guys haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, vote this up, please. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. By the by, if you're watching on YouTube, you're seeing a cut down version of our reaction. We can only show a limited amount of picture in picture. If you want to watch the whole thing with us without any cuts or interruptions, head over to our Patreon page or become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction. You'll just need your own Netflix subscription so you can open up each episode side by side with our reaction. We give you three, two, one countdown sync, and it's like you're watching with two of your favorite buddies from the internet. Okie dokie, let's get into this, here we go. Oh! Ah, oh, shit. Oh no, I thought he got barbecued. That looks so cool! Down, they're down, go, guy, go. Him. Let's go. Oh, oh crap, what? Himself. Why? Get that to the Earth King. We're going to start a war. When your king receives those plans, he will redirect his forces to your borders. The water tribes and the air nomads and the entire world will turn their attention to the Earthbenders. Oh, crap. Why are you doing this? <laughs> oh my god. Because it is our time. Damn! Oh my god! Whoa! This got really dark. This is so interesting though, because I like that they did this, because you don't see that in the animation. When one avatar dies, their spirit is reborn into a new body in an eternal cycle. Since the death of the last avatar, the new incarnation has yet to emerge. The next master of all four elements, an airbender, who may not be ready for the responsibility of becoming the avatar. Wow. They're really doing it. You're gonna say you're gonna say wow a lot, I'm sure. Throughout this entire <laughs> I'm sorry. thing. I'll no, it's not a problem at all. Words. I'm just like it's it's amazing looking. It, no, yeah, but I'm just like, oh, this is it's interesting that they're not starting where we're expecting them to start. But right, I don't I, like I don't mind it. Yeah. It gives it its own personality. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Hey! I bet a lot of thought went into the, like the design of this. Yeah. Like to find the right look of how to make him airbend and fly and all that. Ooh. It's like, how do you do that in a way that isn't just straight cheese? Right? Yeah, right. I think it's really hard. You skip training again. It's all the same drills. You know why I know all this stuff. And you may be more advanced than the others. There's much you have to learn. And believe it or not, there may come a day when you wish you'd spent more time with your teachers. Oh, God. Does he know something? Maybe. There's still a lot of work to be done before the air nomads from the other temples arrive. How many are coming? Like, literally Appa? all of them. Is it Appa? So many Appas. No. <laughs> Which makes what the Fire Nation is about to do so much worse. Aang is powerful, 
But there's much he still needs to learn about responsibility, expectations, sacrifice. Most of all, he needs to know who he is. If we send him away before he learns these things, he could fail to be everything we need him to be. Aang must leave immediately to begin training in the other bending disciplines. And we can only hope that it is not too late for him to make a difference. Yeah, that's rough. I love that he has someone in his corner who's like... Well, for now. Yeah. <laughs> you are the Avatar. The Fire Nation is embarked on a dark path. The world needs you, Aang. You have to leave right away so you can begin training in the other disciplines. Right away? Leave my friends? Leave home? Mm, it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. Can't I just keep pretending I'm your friend? You are my friend. Mm, this is breaking my heart. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Aw, kiddo. God, can you imagine? Hey, by the way, you're the Messiah. Yeah. <laughs> so, deal with like, it. <laughs> Next. No pressure. <laughs> Get going. Start training, buddy. I don't want to leave. I don't want the responsibility. I'm scared of my power. I'm scared of being alone. Mm. Isn't that alone? He's got Appa. Yeah, exactly. Look, oh my God, Appa looks so good. I want to cuddle an Appa. They give Appa right. some color. Just needs to go up where things always make more sense. Yep, yep. I'm obsessed. Brothers and sisters, we're under attack. You're, oh wow! Oh shoot! Ooh! Wow! You really get the sense of like the scale, the scale, yeah. the massacre that's happening. An entire nation. I guess it was Providence that he bailed. Yeah, I mean Providence, destiny. Des yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, it's fate. It's gonna activate. Oh, I thought they were literally gonna burn them all up inside. You may have prevailed on another night. But not when we have the power of the comet. Oh, sh yeah, that's right. And it, because it comes every hundred years. Right. So then, because then he gets frozen, right? So then yeah. it's gonna come back again. So cute. James Cameron would be proud. <laughs> he introduced that effect with the abyss. You were waterbending again, weren't you? Don't worry. No one could see me. We're at war. Waterbending is what built our culture. Our way of life. Keeping it alive is our duty. Keeping ourselves alive is our duty. I know that. And if dad were here. But he's not here. I am. Guitar. Katara, soak later, paddle now. <laughs> That's very much like his character. <laughs> uh -oh. Good job. I'm not doing this. Oh. Well, they could have an Avatar The Last Airbender ride. <laughs> All the elements. There could be an Avatar theme park. What is that? Katara? Oh, what? Interesting. Oh, it guides how cool. him. I am here. Hi there. Hello. It's just like unceremoniously, uh, uh, unceremoniously slid down. Oh. Oh my 
it's back. Grab it. Nice, nice. We're not gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a kid. We can't just leave him out here. I don't like this. Why listen me? Yeah, so far he's really nailing it. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah I agree. Comedy. I was, I was nervous because I hadn't seen enough comedy, and I'm so happy. <laughs> Let me take a look. It can't be this. Yes, an airbender. The only settlement in that area is Water Tribe Village in the South Pole Territory. That's where we have to go. Where do you think we'll find the Avatar? Yes. It's hard to see you get your hopes up every time you see a a sign. It'll all be worth it once I return home in glory to take my place as the right flair to the Fire Lord. Perhaps it's time to consider that the throne isn't everything. Yeah. It may not have been for you, but for me, it's my destiny. It's okay, Zuko. We've got a way to go. I wonder how old this kid really is. He's really good, though. He's speaking my language. Yeah, let's... Fun! I like fun. Hashtag Penguin sledding! Fun. Let's go! Come on! Sokka! Have you seen him? Yeah. That's not strange at all. <laughs> <laughs> is an airbender. Have you seen Appa? My sky bison? Sky bison! <laughs> yeah. Eating it doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Can you imagine? Like you've never seen one of these before. It just like shows up. Yeah. Aww. Well, that's one plot point cut out. Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the fire nation attacked. Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> but when the world needed him most he vanished and so the fire nation marched and laid waste plunging us into a time of darkness by the way i don't know who's doing cameos <laughs> so <laughs> he is the last airbender yep so far yeah tara's not giving me much so far you're a waterbender i'm trying to get better but i'm the only waterbender left in the southern tribe the monks told me bending it's about energy and balance. All right, let's see if that will help you. Sokka, the Fire Nation! They're... I know, we spotted them. Get your post now! Wow. This is a uh, more serious. Very you know serious, I mean? yeah. I am Prince Zuko. We merely seek someone who does not belong here. Someone who is not one of you. Oh. Turn him over now. I demand that you leave immediately. If this is the path you've chosen, then so be it. Let's sell this between us. Leader to leader. I thought you firebenders had some guts. Accept. Oh, gosh. Oh, there he is. You were looking for an airbender? Haha, <laughs> better believe it. I'll burn the whole place to the ground. No! I'll go with you. Just leave him alone. Wait! It's okay, Katara. No one has ever fought for me before. Aw. I think you're the bravest person I've ever met. Smart. <laughs> yeah. The there are many who never imagined this day would ever come, myself included. Why did the Fire Nation start this war? Some people say it is within our nature to expand and consume like fire itself. Uh -huh. Others believe that true stability in this world can only happen under our rule. So the drive to conquer is a drive for peace. Peace comes from respecting life, not killing and destroying. A noble sentiment, Avatar. For most of us, it doesn't matter how this war started. It only matters how it can end. And the belief is that by capturing you, the Fire Nation can finally bring that about. Is that what you believe? Shh. <laughs> I must leave. Yeah. In the meantime, I'll have some jasmine tea sent to you. It's quite soothing. 
Tea is his love language, they're and it is mine as well. Yeah, they're planting seeds early for Iroh. <laughs> yeah, very early. That was quick. <laughs> Uh-oh. I suppose it's believable that they wouldn't know to bind his hands. They haven't dealt with an airbender in a hundred years. true, yeah. Quick. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Literally, fire. Zag. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, some water? That's right, baby. Oh, wow. Zuko's not having a good day. <laughs> you know, the firebenders aren't going to give up. They're going to keep coming after you. Which means we can't go home. So where do we go? Oh, wow. We're just, like, jumping. Yeah, we're jumping. We're covering a lot. Well, I, this is still the first episode so far. It's just, like, them already being here is... Yeah. A couple episodes forward. That's, yeah. So, yes, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> I think we just, they just cut out one episode so far, I feel like. The Fire Nation must have taken all of the bodies or something, because there would be skeletons around. They burned them. Oh, I guess. Like they burned just them. Just incinerated them. To yeah. oh, oh, there shit. you go. There we go. Well, I guess the one that matters is there. Oh now, this God. would be a huge burden for anyone, but you're not just anyone, man. You're strong. Always remember who you are. Oh, oh. snap. <laughs> Damn. Oh, gosh. I can't imagine a better person to have been given this power. You are my friend. Well, he really showed them, like, just the breadth of his power right there. They made the ultimate sacrifice for me. I need to follow through on what they wanted me to do. Complete my training and master all the other bending skills so I can bring balance back to the world. Oh, is that all? <laughs> it's only after we've lost something that we realize how much it means to us. How we do anything to get it back. Anything. Yeah. I don't know where this will all lead. And I don't know if I have what it takes. But the one thing I do know is, I'm the Avatar. And this is just the beginning. Whoa. All right. The world building on the part of the filmmaker and the producers and the visual effects artists especially, it's fantastic. There's a lot of love that went into bringing this to life and getting the world right. Like, that's a character unto itself. Exactly. And I think that they're doing a wonderful job there. The opening was great with the, the, the flashback, you know, the, the pre-story stuff I thought like that, that was an excellent choice. I yeah. mean, first of all, it sets the live action apart from the animation yes. because, you know, the animation starts off with they find him in the iceberg, right? Essentially. Here we get the backstory of like why all of this stuff happened and we actually get to watch it happen. I thought that was a really cool way to go and like a really fun way, like you said, to build the world. That first bit with the, the earthbender running away and like showing us right off the bat, like this is the level of like bending that you're gonna see in the show. Yeah, it was a great cold open to the whole thing. Yeah. Just to, get, just to get you in there. I did wonder why he didn't create a wall behind him to just fend off the Fire Nation. Oh he shoot, yeah. Cause he created a wall to get, to get the other guy away. I'm like, why didn't you? But anyway, but like the, the conceit is he's sacrificing himself to save the, the messenger. Yes. I'm like, all right, fine, I'll buy into it. Because the whole thing was great. It was yes. very nicely done. The development of the relationship between Aang and his master, 
uh, was cool. Like, yeah, I got so. Yeah, like I was a little iffy on on the some of the acting there with with the teacher, but the, overall the relationship was nicely developed, and I fell in love with the relationship between them and the bond that they had. Yeah, I bought into whatever that was between them. I mean, and I think he did a really good job as well because that role is so important because it means a lot to Ang. Yes. and even though he doesn't have that much screen time, his impact is very very important he is that one person that that ang was really close to and so like you see just the absolute soul crushing feeling he gets when he sees like his entire people obliterated plus the person that he loved most yeah as someone who loves the original i you have to set aside the expectation of bringing everything to the live action right of course and there was no penguin sledding <laughs> As an example, when he was escaping from the Zuko's ship, uh -huh. there was way more action in the animated version. Inside him running away and doing air bending. The thing that's missing the most, though, that's difficult to say goodbye to is the comedy. There's a lot more comedy and goofiness from the cartoon, and maybe it just doesn't translate very well to live action, but I, I can't help but notice its absence. And so I'm actively having to go, okay, don't worry about that. Just like, how is this? Like, pretend for the moment that that almost, almost that the animation doesn't even exist. Right. How is this? What I realize as I'm watching it is part of what is supporting my continuing interest is the fact that I have such love for the animation. And so it's like this weird in-between space I have to go to where I'm like, hold on to the love, but yeah, accept this for what it is. Yeah, yeah. be open-minded. Because like Iroh, for instance, looking at this for what it is, I'm like, well, this is an interesting take on Iroh. Like, I would have gone with an older, more, husky sounding like oh. slower Iroh who's more his gravity is deeper into like into his belly Zuko I like Zuko performance wise he's doing a pretty good job absolutely I feel like he's nailing yeah. the essence of Prince Zuko like that that prince who like so desperately needs to bring the avatar yeah. back so that he can come home like, yeah I'm buying everything that he's putting down he's not exactly the cartoon He's his own thing, and yeah. I like what he's doing. Yeah. Aang, I like what he's doing most of the time, and then other times I'm like, okay. He feels a little bit overtrained as a as a young kid sometimes. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get that. I, overall, I, I really like Aang. I think they did a really great job with casting him because he he's small, you know? And when yes. you look at him, Frame -wise, you yes. see yeah. young boy. Yes. And like height-wise and everything compared with the other cast, it's like, yes, that's absolutely right. Physically, to me, it's like, yes, that that's perfect. Like he seems very young and vulnerable, which vulnerable. I think is yeah. exactly what you need for Aang because as he's coming into this journey, it's like, yes, he's 112 years old, but really he's just 12 because his development has been... Mm -hmm paused for that hundred years when he was stuck in that ice and so he is just a kid and you you need to remember that and so yeah i think that that's really great Sokka, while you know i wish that they were able to find actors with the complexion that matches the cartoon yeah i just remember in the cartoon they were darker and here they're lighter it's fine but Sokka, the actor he i think he's nailing a nice balance of like the Sokka I am familiar with, almost like, okay, the original Ninja Turtles movie. It was hitting both. It was like, it was hitting the seriousness of the comics, but it was also hitting the tonality of the cartoon. Right. And so he is my Ninja Turtles, right? <laughs> in this in this instance, as it were, because like he's got the, the structure and the and the voice and the mannerisms, but to now, tone wise, like the show is more grounded, so to speak. It's more serious. Yes. And he's able to ride the line perfectly. I think he's probably the best actor in the show. You know, if all things considered, with what the responsibility is. Right. And well, and a lot of the onus on him is to be the comedic relief as well, because even in the animation, yeah. like a lot of the comedy was coming from Saka, the situations that he often ends up in. Yeah. And so, yeah, he's doing a really great job with the sarcasm, the little asides and stuff. And yeah. I feel like a lot of the time when we're laughing, it's because it's him, yeah. of, of him. Again, I, I want to compliment the actor playing Zuko. I think that Zuko is probably one of the hardest roles. I mean, we have yet to see the entirety of the show, right? Yeah. But I, I, I feel like Zuko's role is particularly difficult. Um, it's just like the opposite end of, of Sokka, because he's got to be this angry prince 
without it feeling like hammy or, or too much. But he also has to find a way to be understandable and, and you have to have empathy for exactly. him. Exactly. Because you can't hate you can't hate Zuko. Yeah. Because uh, by the end of the the show, yeah. he has like one of the most amazing character arcs. Yeah. And he is like an amazing character. It is hard to play a character who is that intense and who can do awful things but is still relatable and redeemable yes. at the same time. Um I don't like Katara so far. I don't feel anything. And I'm like, okay, take out what you feel about the cartoon, right? I have to keep doing that. But I'm like, okay, even if I never saw the cartoon, I don't think I would like what she's doing so far. I'm just not connecting. I'm not feeling anything yet. Maybe right. maybe as the show goes on and she gets m more settled into the role, it, it, I'll, I'll warm up to her more and as she warms up to the role. Maybe. So I'm being optimistic still. It's just that so far I'm just like I'm not I'm not getting much. Yeah, no, I can see what you what what you mean there. She's just playing it very calm. And and I do think that is a part of Katara's character. Maybe not so much the calmness all the time because we know that she can also be like She flies quite off the handle fiery. all the time. Yeah. yeah. But I think she's often like quite a motherly presence to Aang. Yeah. But she's there to to like comfort and to offer words of wisdom and to be understanding. So I feel like, you know, they're kind of leaning into that aspect of the character right now. But yeah, it would be cool to kind of see her be a bit more fiery and, and play with a bit more colors in yeah. the acting. Yeah. Um, and overall, I'm invested. I'm going to see this through to the end, irrespective of like the views, irrespective of <laughs> where the quality goes. Like I'm going to I'm going to take it all the way to the end because I have such love for just the story. And I'm really excited for what they're doing here. And the 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 world itself and the music is doing a lot of heavy lifting yes. for me. And the action is looking cool so far. Yeah, action looks you know? dope. And Appa, oh my God. Yeah. Like they they really, really spent the budget. You see all of his little individual yeah. hairs, his nose is cute, his eyes. I could just stare at Appa all day. Yeah. Just bring him on. A huge, huge shout out to the effects artists on the show. Yeah. Um, I, I would imagine potentially that uh, a lot of the effects artists have a lot of love for Avatar The Last Airbender and we're very excited to work on this. I, I know, you know, from having a lot of friends that do VFX, just how brutal that can be. I think what might make it easier is if you love the thing you're working on and Avatar is a very easy thing to like be passionate about. Yeah, I think. absolutely. So anyways, you guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that with us. Thanks so much for hanging out. Looking forward to episode two and hanging with you again. I'm Jabby Kawe. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.